Hi everyone. From the media. How are you doing? Great. Great. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to, in a nutshell, uh, share with you my story. 30 years ago, I was born without arms and legs. And there was no medical reason why this had happened. Many people, they come up to me and say, well, how come you have such a joy in your life? Uh, what do you do with your circumstances? Is it just a positive attitude? Uh, as I was trying to look at life and, and ask myself, why? Why was I born this way? Who am I supposed to be? You know, especially us men, we feel uh, even subconsciously uh, a direct correlation between how much money we make and our value and how good we feel. And in, in men, you know, we, we want to provide for our family. And I was thinking, what kind of life am I going to have? Am I ever going to marry anyone? Am I ever going to have a family? What am I going to provide? I, I probably can't even get a job. So all these questions came and fear came, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. And all these voices saying, Nick, you're not good enough. Nick, you'll never be anyone. Nick, you'll always be alone. But the truth was that my hope and my purpose was always in my life. And the blessings that were, uh, were coming were always going to come. My beautiful wife and I, we got married on the 12th of February, 2012. And on the 13th of February 2013, our beautiful baby boy Kiyoshi James Vujicic was born. And I miss them very much. They all send their love and greetings. And uh, he's getting big now. He's about my height already. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> so we can't, wait to, uh, we can't wait to see him walk. And, you know, I, I love my life. I, I did not know as a child that I would be able to do a double degree in accounting and financial planning. I graduated at 21 and um, as I went through teenage years looking for a greater purpose I realized you know I was wanting arms and legs to be happy but then I found many people with arms and legs still not happy and it started making me realize that I need to be thankful for what I have instead of being angry for what I do not have you know, everyone goes through ups and downs and I never compare my suffering to someone else's. But I do believe that there is hope and a greater purpose for all people. My brother and my sister were born with arms and legs. And so still there is no medical explanation for my birth defect. And they had no idea if I would be able to walk, uh, do what I do. They never thought I'd swim. Uh, I now scuba dive, surf, uh, and even skydive with my wife last year, which was fantastic. My parents encouraged me to set small goals, and as I achieved small goals, my confidence grew and grew, and now I can write with my foot, I can type 43 words a minute on a normal computer, up to two cups of coffee, 53 words a minute. <laughs> and uh, so far I've traveled 49 countries in the last 11 years, spoken over 2,000 times, our largest crowd was in India, 110,000 people. And uh, we've met eight presidents. Um, and I look forward to meeting the president of Singapore uh, on the 7th uh, this week. And so we look forward to, to spending some time together. Um, and my mission in life is, is just to communicate a message of hope. So I'm encouraging Singaporeans to help more Singaporeans. And I hope that my life story also encourages special needs integration into the education system of Singapore more and more. And uh, I want to encourage the media as well. In fact, my mum showed me a newspaper article at age 13. And it was one of my first turning points that I had in my negative sort of attitude. I read about a man who had a disability and I realized, wow, I'm not alone. And that reporter doesn't know that there was going to be a limbless 13-year-old boy reading that article and being inspired. And I want you to know that you do not know who your readers are or your viewers or your listeners. You don't know the impact you can be in someone else's life.